that is a fantastic fragrance. No wonder that one of the traditional uses of this plant is to take a little twig, stick it up your nose and inhale it to clear a blocked nose. It is very effective. How's it guys? My name is Gus, the African plant hunter. This is the next in my ongoing series of videos around medicinal plants of Southern Africa. And today's subject is this Artemisia Afra, African wormwood in the Asteraceae family. I would tell you the uh, local vernacular names in Zimbabwe if I knew them, but I don't, and surprisingly, nobody else does either. I went to the National Herbarium, and even the director of the Herbarium couldn't tell me. I don't know why that is, but this is a very widely used medicinal plant in Zimbabwe and indeed all over Africa. So, most of the traditional uses, perhaps not surprisingly, given how aromatic and fragrant it is, relate to uh, the chest, lungs, congestion, flus, colds, uh, as I mentioned, sticking it up your nose to clear a blocked nose. It's usually steamed and the vapors are inhaled. The name African wormwood, or specifically the wormwood, which is common to all uh, species in the Artemisia genus, uh, relate to the fact that this plant is often used to treat intestinal disorders, um, kill bacteria, bugs, worms, schistosomiasis, uh, it's a very common uh, traditional use, uh, also borne out in modern medicine, by the way. Uh, third set of traditional uses relate to menstruation and associated uh, gynecological problems. So uh, steamed vapors applied to the genitals to cure uh, menstrual chills, uh, menstrual pain. Sometimes taken internally, made into a tea. It's very bitter when it's consumed as a tea, so you often want to uh, mix it with honey. One country where there is a particularly strong history of traditional use of Artemisia afra is South Africa. It's called Vildils there and it's made into a medicinal brandy, um, often drunk as a kind of general curative. Now this plant has a bit of a reputation and an aura relating to malaria. Uh, obviously its cousin, which is much more famous for that, Artemisia annua, is a well-known and well-documented anti-malarial, the basis of the so-called Chinese wonder drug coatum and its artemisin, which is the active ingredient in that other Chinese artemisia. But that compound is not actually found in this plant. Nevertheless, there are other compounds which do make it apparently effective in the treatment of malaria. And in the early 2000s, if you went, for example, to South Africa, you would have seen a wide range of uh, anti-malarial herbal treatments that were available across the counter based on uh, Artemisia afra. This plant became famous again in very modern times in 2020 when the Malagash, the, the Madagascan government, released a herbal remedy to treat COVID. And one of the main ingredients in that was indeed this plant, uh, Artemisia afra. Now, from a pharmacological point of view, there is a lot to substantiate its use, both um, in terms of uh, malaria and also uh, antimicrobial, uh, molicidal. So the compound that's found in this plant that is probably the one that gives it its anti-malarial activity is called arginine. Now, arginine is interesting not just for that, but also because of the effect it has uh, in turning this plant into a very effective reducer of high blood pressure. So, researchers believe that the synergistic effects between arginine, another compound called scopolitin, and the very high, unnaturally high levels of potassium that are found in this plant may in combination be what's responsible for the uh, efficacy in terms of reducing blood pressure. Also hyperglycemic, very good in moderating your blood sugar levels, uh, potentially the same compounds and others. 
There are so many compounds in this plant that we don't yet really know or understand fully. Um, and one of the things that researchers say about this is that it probably contains prodrugs. Now, prodrugs are very interesting in phytomedicine. Prodrugs are compounds that do not themselves have pharmaceutical activity, but in your body, once they've been consumed, they have the ability to convert into medically or pharmaceutically active compounds and to then have healing effects. So that is Artemisia afra, the African wormwood, a wonderful, wonderful plant to have growing in your garden. One of the good things about this plant is that there's very little in terms of adverse toxicology. So many medicinal plants, as I've said before, uh, if you take them uh, in high doses can have negative effects on your welfare. Um, it's called poison, but this plant doesn't appear to have that. So this is one plant that you can probably relatively safely consume uh, the traditional ways as an inhalation, as a tea, uh, or just sticking it up your nose. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. If you have plenty more on my YouTube channel, Facebook, Instagram, check out LinkedIn as well. Just type in African Plant Hunter. If you hit subscribe, you'll always see my videos. If you like this and you would like to support my work, you can do that by going to my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash African Plant Hunter. It doesn't cost much to support me on a regular basis, and it does enable me to make more videos to educate you. All right, guys, I hope you have enjoyed. I'm off to shoot some other videos on medicinal plants in Southern Africa. I will catch you later. Take it easy. Bye. Bye.